This is the Nature City Festival Review, heard every day this week on CFCR 90.5 with yours truly, Franny Rollick. The Nature City Festival runs from May 25th to 31st right here in Saskatoon. To learn more and check out a schedule of events, go to wildaboutsaskatoon.org. On today's episode, we'll hear from Alison Brady, the Executive Director of Saskatchewan Environmental Society, and the event that took place at the Mendel Art Gallery as a tribute to Stan Rowe. But we're going to start things off with an interview I did with Gary Pedersen, the Naturalized Area Supervisor of the Parks Branch with the City of Saskatoon. Gary, can you tell me a little bit about what is a naturalized park in Saskatoon? A naturalized park is a park that's uh, landscaped uh, with other native plants or, 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 or plants that are, are self-sustaining. Uh, the management of these parks essentially is to try and uh, maintain or trying to enhance biodiversity within them. Naturalized, uh, naturalized parks uh, uh, are sort of, uh, there's been a big debate within the parks branch about even the definition of, of what a naturalized park is because of course naturalized plants mean like even even some uh, horticultural plants can naturalize the landscape but essentially naturalized uh, landscaping now uh, means uh, landscaping as much as possible with native, native plants and managing the, the, uh, the landscape for biodiversity and for habitat for wildlife in the city. Great and we're here in Donna Brickmeyer Park and uh, it's a fairly new park in- that I'm aware of. and So is this a new trend we're going to see more of in Saskatoon, do you think? Yeah, it is actually because uh, uh, we're, we're seeing a move away from intensely managed landscapes into uh, a lesser lesser management uh, thing. It's, it's, a, it's a cheaper option overall, uh, but aside from the uh, cost of maintenance costs, that kind of a thing, there's also the aesthetic value of naturalized landscaping, having uh, nature right outside uh, people's uh, backyards, literally, and being able to uh, enjoy wildlife uh, right in the city here. Great. Thanks, Gary. All right, I'm with uh, Alison Brady, the Executive Director of the Saskatchewan Environmental Society, and we just heard a talk um, of a series of essays, I guess, about Stan Rowe, or that Stan Rowe wrote here at the Mendel Art Gallery. So can you tell us a little bit about the the show and, and why you chose this particular show? Sure. So this week being the Nature in the City week, we wanted to do something that was nature inspired. So we wanted to have a bit of sort of academic discussion about nature and in cities. And then we wanted to take people out. So the we decided to do a partnership with the Mendel Art Gallery. The Mendel Art Gallery had this great show at the time called Home Place. And it was all about what inspired different staff at the Mendel Art Gallery around home. And they all chose different pieces of work that reminded them of home. And of course, for those of People may be familiar with this book or they may not be familiar with this book, but Stan Rowe wrote a very famous book called Home Place, Essays on Ecology. And we thought that this mixture of art and ecology would be just kind of an interesting fit. So we decided to have some people who knew Stan well do some readings from Home Place, Essays on Ecology, talk a bit about the link between uh, basically uh, ecology and how home is the place that we all live on. I mean, it's not just our homes, our physical homes, but the fact that this planet Earth is our home. And we wanted to make that link with the Home Place show that was here at the Mendel Art Gallery. So we had Don Kerr, who's a a, a well-known professor from the University of Saskatchewan, as is Lynn Oliphant, also a professor emeritus from the University of Saskatchewan, and also colleagues of Stan Rowe come and talk a bit about their interaction with with Stan Rowe and also the uh, work that he's done. So they read essays from his novel. Great. So he wrote this book, and and what else has he done? What is his link to ecology? Stan Rowe. So Stan uh, was a professor of ecology at the University of Saskatchewan, and I think was one of the first people to really bring the idea of ecology into the U of S. Uh, People had been talking about biology, uh, had been talking about different natural sciences, but I think he was one of the first professors to make that link to help people realize how interconnected all of these different natural sciences are, that ecology is something that we're all part of. It's not just one natural science compared to another. Um, Everything is so interconnected, and if we don't have that interconnectedness, we don't have a healthy planet to live on. And so Stan really brought that forward in his teachings and in his writings. Great. Thanks very much. And again, that's Alison Brady from the Saskatchewan Environmental Society. This has been the Nature City Festival Review, heard every day this week on CFCR. The Nature City Festival runs from May 25th to 31st right here in Saskatoon. 
To learn more and check out a schedule of events, go to wildaboutsaskatoon.org.